Hi, I'm Gina and you're watching Media Basics. Today's program will be addressing the basics of filming on camera. Video cameras have many different aspects and functions, most of which you can change to suit how you want to film. Today we'll be looking at how to correctly set the exposure on your camera. So, let's get started. When we talk about the exposure, we're talking about how light or dark the video is. When a video clip is overexposed, it looks overly bright. Things in the scene look washed out, and the areas which would usually be dark look lighter. When a video clip is underexposed, it looks too dark. The lightest area of the picture will look grey and dull. A correctly exposed piece of film will show both the dark and light areas in a scene. They will naturally look more correct. When filming a scene, it's very important to get the exposure of the shot right before you film. If the video looks too light or dark when you are at the editing stage, then there are only limited techniques you can use to correct the picture, most of which will not correct it fully. The best way is always to get the exposure right before filming your shots. Before showing you how to set the exposure on your camera, let's first look at how exposure works. The exposure of a picture is determined by the aperture and shutter speed used. In a camera, there's a shutter over the lens. The shutter can open and close at different speeds depending on how much light you want to let into the camera, as well as how fast the object you're filming is moving. To create a picture, the shutter opens, letting light go through to the camera lens. Depending on whether it's a film or digital camera, the light will then fall onto the film or digital chip in the camera, which will record the light information and create the picture. Aperture is the other area that exposure depends on. The aperture in a camera is the hole that lets the light into the camera from the lens in the first place. The aperture can be made large to allow a lot of light into a picture. This may be used when filming in lower light conditions. Or the aperture can be reduced so only a small amount of light is let into the camera. A small aperture would be used if a scene was too bright, as it would reduce the light being let in. The aperture is measured in f-stop. Adjusting the f-stop number adjusts the size of the aperture hole. Overall, we've learned that the shutter speed and aperture in the camera both work together to create the right exposure for your shot. So let's change exposure on your camera. For this program, we'll be using a HD Canon camera, which is a digital video camera with widescreen and standard definition capabilities. Depending what camera you use, the buttons and menus for your camera might not be in the same location. However, the main principle will still apply and can be adjusted to your own camera. Once you've set up your shot and adjust your camera in the right location ready to shoot, you should always check the exposure of the picture. Here we can see that the shot looks a little underexposed, so how do we fix that? To change the exposure on the camera, you need to adjust the iris ring and the shutter speed. The iris ring is normally near the lens, next to the focus and zoom rings. On the HD Canon, the shutter speed is adjusted by a roll switch. Depending on the quality of your camera, you may have a zebra function, which is a quick and easy function to both check and correct your exposure. On the camera, we'll open the LCD screen and go into the camera menu. On the camera, select Display Functions, then scroll to the Zebra On function, which will bring up the Zebra function. This function will bring up bright white lines on your screen. The white line represents the brightness of the scene. In this function, you can change the exposure and percentage. By reducing the percentage of exposure, you will lower the white lines and create a darker image. The higher you adjust the percentages, the brighter the image will be, and the more white lines will appear on your screen. The best way to adjust the exposure correctly is to look at the person you're filming. On a person's face, light mostly commonly reflects off your T area, which is your forehead and nose. A correctly exposed image will show zebra lines just on the forehead and nose, and not the rest of the face. This exposure setting is usually between 70 to 90% of your camera. However, this can differ depending on where you're filming. We now have the correct exposure for our scene. Just to show you the difference it's made, let's compare our final shot to our test shot.
So remember, exposure depends on the aperture and shutter speed setting of your camera. Exposure affects how light or dark your shot is. If the exposure is filmed wrong, it cannot always be fixed when editing. Exposure can be adjusted by turning the iris ring on your camera. Zebra function is a more effective way of finding the correct exposure. Correct exposure is usually when the zebra lines are on the T area of a person's face. Well, that's all we have time for. Next week we'll be looking into how to change your white balance. I'm Gina and you're watching Media Basics. Goodbye.